so this is one of my perfect examples of creating like ecosystems that um, everyone benefit from each other and try to live as a natural as natural as possible on an environment so we have a fly that eats the rest of the laos and there's tiny one over there just like chilling there it was moving before so these dies or they evolved into flying queens and uh, to be queens or her sort and um, yeah, then other insects feed from the bodies, which have enough sugars to make a really nice snack, I would say. So they're on this specific plant, right? They're alive, as you can see, dead and alive. And um, yeah, I'm just like testing around with it, right? Trying to create an environment. So in the back a little bit. We have this other leaf which is already like you know changing so the plant is absorbing all the nutrients back and the energy it's telling all the cells hey guys come on stop doing what you're doing there are better ways let's use this energy and I don't know different possibilities let's concentrate it on creating new leaves, new leaves, stronger leaves, young ones that will absorb the light source better. So this is an alocasia I think. I'm not sure if that's the name, but um, I'm pretty sure that's kind of like the type of plant that this is. It's usually like you know, natural for Central America, places jungly, humidity, high, dry environment, but very moist and alive soil. Sorry that I'm just like testing around with this. Uh, this lies, right? So plant is going, growing enough to stay alive and to absorb as much energy as this environment gives, which is a complete organism. You know, not only the Leaves are kind of like, you know, kind of like hands with the palm open to the sun, getting all the energy from it and transforming it into food and minerals and energy that the plant can use to grow better roots stronger uh, leaves, stronger structures and, and uh, bigger roots, right? It's growing in general. So as you can see here there is some spider web. Spider web still 
gathering all the corpses which eaten or not they will all oh, check out eaten or not they will um, totally decomposed with thanks to all the organisms living uh, completely in the soil right? so check this guy check who's here that's what I mean right and this guy totally feed itself from let's see this guy totally feeds itself from other organisms right or decomposed material leaves like this ones these dead leaves dead roots like you can see there's some fungi kind of growing there but this guy kind of like likes to being in that, in that environment, you know, decomposed material, so it can absorb it and poop it. And if it poops, poops it and falls into the soil again, then the organisms are gonna take care of the rest. Oh, there's a flying thing. Flying mosquito. Let's see if I can get through it. So, for example, let's check this. I'm not sure what that is. I think that it's the top part. Oops. Uh, it's kind of like the top part of. I'm not sure. Which is dried already, right? And again, well, the more agents an environment can find the more the better usage of space and energy and, um, works right so all this pot which is a terracotta pot right which is like a clay pot, a clay pot. it's kind of like big I think the So at least 30 by 45, 30 by 40, and um, I have this concept which is um, the soil, it's like the skin. And everything that grows on top of it it's another kind of like hairy layer that protects the skin against the environment against a strong changes on temperature or different um, different how do you call it a, um, different temperatures right like different environments that they're not used to naturally and um, if you somehow manage to tackle that and to keep the the soil covered as much as possible with living material the better it will be and the better they benefit right. so this guy is like exploring that place and um, yeah, like there are other things. You see this plant? Let's try to get oh, I think that this is like better right now. So, this plant, it's beautiful. It has that coloration, 